Welcome to challenge four of NTNA season seven. We were challenged by Glitz Accessories to create a set of Vegas nails with lots of bling. So if you want to find out what I created, how I created it, keep on watching. I absolutely love Las Vegas. Almost every year since becoming a nail tech, I have attended the International Beauty Show in Vegas, and I always have such a great time. Vegas is a place to leave the stress behind and just have fun. So I hope you enjoy this set full of entertainment and games. Let's start with the Russian roulette wheel. Take forest green 40 gel and form it into a circle and cure it in the lamp. Then file out any imperfections. Using a reference photo, paint on all the details with red and black gel paint. Once you're satisfied with all the details, you can top coat, then drill a hole in the middle so you can feed the wire through. Make sure to test it out and see if it spins correctly. Anchor the wheel onto the nail using acrylic. Now you have a working Russian roulette wheel. Next, let's create the stars of the show. It wouldn't be Vegas without showgirls. Mix some 40 gel colors to create your base skin tone. Start manipulating the gel into a nice face shape. You can use this dual end 3D art brush to start creating details such as the mouth, the eye holes, the cheekbones. This is all done by just adding and subtracting away product. The best thing is you have unlimited time to play around with the product to get the perfect shape. Here you can see I rolled out a piece of the 40 gel and added it onto the mouth to create perfect lips. Once you're happy with the shape, you can start to file any imperfections and smooth everything out. And don't forget the eyeballs. So for the showgirl nails, I actually based it off of a drawing that I got done while I was in Vegas, the character kind of style. So here it is. And so that's why I created my girl with the big head and the small body because I wanted it to be in this style because there's lots of these type of artists in Vegas and this picture is really sentimental to me and it means a lot. Now that the sculpting is done, we can slowly start building up the skin tone. This will take many layers, so be patient. Now we are gonna paint a red bodysuit on this showgirl and then on the other showgirl it will be blue so that they can have contrast. Using the pink 40 gel, we are going to start sculpting out the showgirl's headdress. Pro tip, use the texture of a cuticle pusher to make an impression into the 40 gel for a cool effect. Use the gel paint crimson red to paint the headdress and the lips. Add a little bit of sparkle and a little bit of blush. And now we're ready to start working on the eyes. This is a major feature of the face, so take your time in getting all the details right. Now we're gonna use this fabric to create fishnet stockings onto the showgirl. It's super simple. You just have to inlay it with a little bit of top coat and trim off the extra and file it smooth. Now all that's left is styling up her headdress. Add top coat to the feather so it doesn't fall apart when you trim it to size. Cure it in place and add an arrangement of crystals. Once everything's in place, you can apply a matte top coat and then once it's cured, you can add shiny parts to the eyes, dress, and mouth. Now I'll show you how to create this little slot machine. First, you'll paint out all the details onto a white square base. Fun fact, the first competition I ever entered was also Las Vegas themed. And this month marks my four year anniversary of being a nail tech. It's so cool to reflect on the progress. All right, to get the handle to move, we're just gonna create a little tube on wire and then we're going to stick it in place and then as you can see, it hinges back and forth. Okay, I am obsessed with moving nail art now. Next, we're gonna create the blingy nails and learn how to keep them on long and strong. Glitz Accessories has a really cool way of applying crystals. First step is to apply their condensed glue gel all over the entire nail. Take your time with this layer and make sure that it turns out nice and smooth. This will secure the crystals in place. Then without curing, put the eye holds top coat over top of that condensed glue gel. You just want to lightly float your brush over top, making sure not to disturb the glue gel underneath. And then place your crystals on top. We are going to use these red crystals to contrast against the blue background. Using the wax tool, just simply place the crystals one by one until you're happy with the layout. Have fun with this part and just be creative. Lastly, you will use our precision tip glue gel. It's just this little needle right here, just a tiny little point, and that can get in between all the little cracks of the crystals so that your clients won't have their hair getting caught in their nails. It's less likely of falling off. This is the magic ingredient and the last step. 
make sure to fill up all the edges for a long lasting result. I have a lot of clients that I know will really appreciate this extra step. Now we can move on to the hand painted game nails. Basically what we are doing is taking a sample from the game board and just replicating the details as close as possible. The most important part is keeping an eye on your spacing so that it comes out as accurate as possible. My best recommendation to achieve this is to create a dot where you want to start your letter and where you want to end your letter. This way you have it evenly spaced out. If you have trouble with a shaky hand, take a second to take a couple deep breaths. It really makes a big difference. Now create the little mini poker chip with gel polish and top coat. Then attach it to the tip of the nail using an eye loop wire. I love how this detail adds a lot of interest to the design. Now let's see how I created this Las Vegas sign. Create the base shape with white art gel and top coat. Once you have a smooth surface to work on, you can start adding all the detail. Create the welcome part of the sign separately so that it adds more of a 3D effect when you attach it to the nail. You can attach it by just placing down a little bit of acrylic. And for my last trick, the four of a kind aces. To create these mini cards, you're just going to need a flat white base so that you can trim it down into little card shapes. The goal is to get the sides as straight as possible while rounding off the corners. Now to make the lucky four of a kind, we're going to paint a heart, diamond, spades, and club. And here is the finished design. I hope that you guys love it as much as I loved creating it. Thank you so much Glitz Accessories for sponsoring this challenge.